Hey, White Rig 85, styling today in a uh, little bit of a souped up golf cart that one of the guys has down the club. And uh, I just cut one of the trails out. I'm down here. We know there was a lot of forest, uh, forestry work, thinning of pine trees down here. So we're down checking some trails out, filling some feeders. Uh, the deer season in Delaware begins September 1st, so that's actually not that far away. Uh, I'm not usually into the real hot weather hunting just because of the uh, one, if you get a deer, you got to make sure you, you recover it within a short period of time. Uh, the bugs, mosquitoes, and then uh, in this area, Delaware, they have the chiggers or no seams, whatever you want to call them, which really are uh, the worst things if you get bites with those. Uh, so I'm going down to fill a feeder up right now, do a few more things. We'll take a look at uh, some of the farm and uh, what's grown up here, uh, some of the trails and some of the areas that they've cut down. So come on along. Going down to a trail called the Sendero. Uh, it's grown up a lot, so we'll have to see what it looks like. It used to be a pretty good open area in the farm, reminded us of Texas, so that's where we got that name from. And uh, let's go in there and get, check that feeder out. Yeah, here's one of our food plots down in the farm, Lower Delaware. Uh, as you can see, some of the stuff's coming up. I think some of that is oats. And uh, I think some of that corn actually might be from the feeder that actually spun out there because I don't think the guys planted any corn in there. And here's our feeder. And a lot of brush and everything has grown up underneath of it, of course. But as soon as we uh, start that feeder going, you know what's going to happen. That's going to be chewed right down from the deer. And we'll swing over. And uh, way there in the distance, uh, there's our stand. It's actually blown over in one of the winter storms we had and uh, we'll have to get that back up again and get some camo on it. Uh, but uh, don't have enough guys for that today but uh, we'll do that in one of our work days. There's a cut. Well, 200 in, I'll put the lid back on, get the timer set up. And this one has the solar panel charger on it. That battery was through the winter, and I just checked it, and it is completely full charged. So those solar panels, uh, they really do the job. Let's go around. I'm going to go ahead and hit the test button here. Beautiful. Heading up the trail to stand on the ditch, as we call it. Uh, one of the more successful stands in the farm. And heading up here, as you can see, we've got a couple branches right across the trail here. I'll get my pocket saw out. Take these down, we'll get up to that stand, take a look at it. Here it is, stand on the ditch. Very unassuming, basically a 4x4 four four box stand. Uh, it's probably about uh, 12, 14 feet tall. Uh, very simple, does the job. There's just a couple of paths to look at, one down through here. And uh, one up this way. And last year, 
first day uh, in the evening, right before dark. Uh, it's where we got the best deer on the property out. Uh, one of the guys said he could actually hear the antlers hitting the sticks and vines as it was coming out. He knew it was a buck. Stepped out and uh, went and harvested them. Beautiful buck. I have to congratulate him again for this fine looking deer. Well, let's get back to the buggy and a couple more feeders to fill up. I'll take a ride all the way to the other side of the farm. Uh, in the golf cart. It's got a 6 inch lift kit on it. And get over those bumps and uh, 12 inch tires instead of 10. So it really does the job for, for riding around in the woods quietly. But down here, another stand. This one's called the Honey Hole. And uh, a little bit of a need of a camouflage on that. I may come back and do something with this. Uh, possibly. And it, it just sticks out a little bit too much. Well, we got a feeder over here and need some legs on it and we're going to go ahead and put about 200 pounds of corn in that one. So we're set, filled up and good to go with this one. Legs are on. So I'm going to come on over here. The timer is a very, very old school timer right here, Remington. And once I hit this test button, I'm going to get splashed with some corn. Well, successful test. Battery is good. So I'm going to shut this one up and go ahead and head back to the parking lot. Stop here for a minute on the way back. You can see this stand. It's a two-man ladder stand. It has one of those roofs and some camo netting around it. Uh, the camo netting needs a little bit of tie wrap. But uh, I'm going to be doing something very similar to this uh, at uh, Camp Go Time this year. So during our video for that, uh, you'll see me getting the roof on and putting some camo up just about like this one. That uh, works pretty good and you are fairly camouflaged in there once you're, once you're in there. And again, this camo has been up for about four years now. So of course the, the weather is, is getting to it. And uh, like I said, uh, we have to get through and put some more tie wraps or replace it. But it gives you an idea of uh, what I'm going to be doing up there. Here's some of the areas that were cut out, thinned, timbered uh, for pulp, turn of the paper. As you can see, we have some grasses growing up. Got some half decent browse. You know, up into one of the other trails. Maybe we'll take a walk up there a couple hundred yards. It look like it's growing in fairly well. And certainly some, some grasses and some browse uh, for the deer to munch on. Some of the trees got knocked over and they're basically doing a bit of a hinge cutting effect. I uh, saw a lot of that today. Uh, you got some nice grass over here. A lot for them to eat. And here's another one of our stands. Pretty tall this one. This one's up about 20 some feet. Pretty good camel around it. Needs a little bit of tacking up there, stapling. But uh, not too, too bad. Fairly thick back in here. As most of the hunting in here is your 35 yard max shot usually. And here's our parking area. Again, a lot different than it was before. You got a lot of grass, etc. growing up through here. And we'll see what effect it has this year. We're hoping for a good one. Uh, but every year out there, it's just fun. Uh, seeing the guys, talking, laughing, having some fun. That's what it's all about. It's about time to get home, take a shower, get some nice cold drinks. Uh, last thing I did over here, I set a game cam up. That's the Moultrie that I did a review on recently. Pretty nice camera. Have it in an area where I've seen some, some nice scrapes, 
seen some big bucks in an area that uh, was unsuccessful a couple times uh, with the crossbow. Uh, but it happens to everybody, so uh, what can you do? Well, we got hunting season coming up at fall. Everybody's favorite time of year, at least I know it is for me. Fall and winter are really my favorite times of year. Uh, but uh, we have some good things coming up, some versus videos, uh, some some hunting videos, of course the, the go time, deer, PA deer season, uh, maybe a little bit down here in uh, the hunt club uh, here and the, the other spot. This should just be good, some good things coming up, so stay tuned for that. So this White Rook 85, signing out off the Delmarva Peninsula today. Everybody have a good one.